probably one of the immediate things you think of when somebody says to you Oracle General Ledger or even accounting is the journal entry. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Kat from Tutor Ally and today we are going to talk about the Oracle journal entry. First and foremost, what is a journal entry? A journal entry is probably one of the most fundamental things that you will encounter in the world of accounting. A journal entry is essentially, at the very core of it, a simple record of a business transaction that you would like to record on your financial statements. It records the flow of money or a value of something. There's always a debit and a credit, and the debits and credits represent where a thing flows into your organization and then something flows out. So for example, if you were to purchase a computer, you would likely record the very thing that you bought, so the computer, and then all the cash that you had to fork out in order to make the trade for that computer. And so at the very core of it, you would have a very simple journal entry entry that would be like a debit, a computer asset and credit cash. Now in real life and in real business, transactions can be as simple as that and much more complex than that. In any case, when we talk about Oracle journal entries, journal entries can be created directly in the general ledger, either one by one, that is manually, or groups of them can be created at the same time using sort of a batch concept. And we would get into more about that in future videos. Most of the time though, Oracle journal entries actually originate from sub ledgers that eventually connect to the general ledger. And so imagine if you will, in that computer example, where you purchased the computer, well, you would have likely had to go through payables and in payables, that is where the original transaction would have been created. So you would enter the invoice right into payables and then payables would take that transaction and automatically create an accounting entry for it, so that debit and credit, and then eventually it's going to make its way into the general ledger. And once in the general ledger, we like to refer to them as Oracle journal entries. Check out this video on tutorally.com where you can see just how simple it is to create an Oracle journal entry.